Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. Right now we are in Q&A session and we are going to continue to discuss about water influx. Right now we will discuss about chill twist model. It is an aquifer model and previously we have discussed about pot aquifer model and right now we will be going to discuss about chill twist model. All right, let's go to the case. So we have been given the reservoir data, the initial reservoir pressure, 3,500 PSI, and then current reservoir pressure, 3,000 PSI. We know about the formation volume factors for oil, for gas, for water. We know the production GOR and the solution GOR. We don't have any water production in this case, and our oil production rate is 32,000 stock tank barrel per day. We also know that current reservoir pressure is relatively stable at 3000 PSI. So the key here is stable condition. And we need to calculate seal twist water influx constant. All right, so we know this is the condition for our reservoir. We have an aquifer and we need to calculate the seal twist water influx constant. Okay, I hope it's quite clear. It's clear for me and then let's see the strategy to solve the question. So the first thing first, we list all the data that has been provided. And then we acknowledge that current reservoir pressure is relatively stable. It means that steady state model can be applied in this case, right? The reservoir or the current reservoir pressure is stable. So it means that steady state flow regime is applicable in this situation. And then shield twist model is applicable, we know that. And then let's do the calculation or let's discuss the steps in the calculation. First, we need to solve the rate of water influx by knowing this balance. Water influx rate is equal to the summation of oil flow rate, free gas flow rate, and water production rate, if any. And we know that we don't have any water production here in this case. And then, we need to solve the water influx constant. The formula is quite simple. This is the formula. So everything inside the bracket can be simplified as C. And C is the seal twist water influx constant. So this is the question, right? This is the thing that we need to calculate. And then water influx rate is C times the pressure drop, the initial reservoir pressure minus the current reservoir pressure. And C, of course, is EW divided by the pressure drop. So this is the strategy. It's quite straightforward. So let's answer the question. First, water influx rate is oil flow rate, QO times formation volume factor for oil, this one, and then close, plus Production GOR 900 minus solution GOR 700 close times oil flow rate 32,000 times formation volume factor for gas. And then plus water production rate, which is actually zero, but for the sake of completeness, we still do the calculation times BW, which is one. All right, so far so good. So water influx rate is around 50,000 stock tank barrel per day. And then lastly, we need to calculate the water influx constant for seal twist model, EW, which is this, and then divided by the pressure drop. Initial pressure, 3,500 minus 3,000, which is the current reservoir pressure. All right, so C, or the seal twist water influx constant is 100 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. So this is the water influx constant for seal twist aquifer model. It is a straightforward calculation. It is quite easy. So I hope it is useful for us all to understand more about material balance, water influx, aquifer, and water draft reservoir, okay? See you again in the next videos. I will be talking about another method for water influx modeling. All right. Thank you.